everyone, this is Lightstar, and I am here today to do another exciting light language activation. And this is going to be an activation from Lyra, the Lyran feline activation. And I know a lot of uh, Lyrans out there, so I've been prompted and guided to do an activation of a particular kind. So. First of all, for those of you guys who don't know who I am or just joining us for the first time here, you might want to go back and look at some of my playlists that I have that's uh, for light language because uh, the one that's kind of towards the bottom will have a overall description of what light language is and that can help to um, guide you through light language and getting some familiarity with it. And so that's a, another way to really get activations as well, that playlist. I have a few playlists on my YouTube channel that have uh, ones for light language, ones for my oracle consciousness reading. Um, we have all sorts of playlists on there, so it's a good idea to go check it out. And while you're there, you can uh, connect with me there. So I'm saying the word connect instead of subscribe. So um, one of the lovely ladies on my comment section uh, liked the word connect instead of subscribe, and I like that word too. Um, there's some other ones I like, which personally I like co-create with me. So I'm trying to get some new uh, verbiage to use for social media since I'm not really crazy about the current uh, terminologies that we use. Um, don't want people subscribing and following and all these these terms that are just really old paradigm, in my opinion. Anyways, so what I wanna share though about the Lyran activation here is uh, I love the Lyran energy. It is so beautiful and what I have also noticed about Lyrans, there's a lot of Lyran energy on this planet, okay? We gotta remember that the Lyrans are one of the many races that have lost their home. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into galactic history here, but um, some of it is the fact that the Lyran world was destroyed. And a lot of Lyran uh, beings that had incarnations um, as Lyrans, uh, some people like to say Lyran, by the way. Uh, I typically just keep saying Lyran, but um, Lyran is, is perfectly fine, and it might even be how it's actually said, but I just keep calling it Lyra and it just keeps coming back to me that way. But uh, there's lots of different types of Lyra as well. And I have um, on my list of my next um, image, my next art creation is going to be the Lyra and also Syrian. So those are on my list of next to do unless uh, one of the characters in my um, vicinity decides to jump to the front of the line, which a lot of these, I call them characters because they are quite funny sometimes when I'm creating, they want to just jump right in front and so they'll kind of come right over the top of what uh, my next in line image was. And so I, I think it's kind of funny. But <laughs> anyhow, so that's coming soon so you'll have a visual with it, but I was prompted and guided to uh, do a specific Laren activation as um, lately I've been feeling there's a lot of people that are feeling displaced. And what I mean by that is displaced from almost like you don't know where home is anymore. And this typically comes from uh, that concept of when a lot of these worlds were uh, destroyed um, by the negative factions, the uh, beings felt very lost and felt uh, soul loss, really and have this kind of perpetual feeling of where is home, where's my home, I miss my home. And, um, and a lot of us starseeds feel that way anyway in general, but uh, Lyrans in particular definitely feel that, as well as um, all those Maldekians, or what they call Tiamat or Maldek, and there's another one that world had um, been destroyed and there is this kind of um, perpetual feeling of loss and where's my home, where are my people, why do I feel uh, so disconnected and I can't seem to find them and I'm and perhaps even always seeking that tribe, you know, seeking the people that are your family is another uh, trait of that. 
and I will be doing something else uh, at a later date that's going to be a specific uh, clearing kind of activation um, and that is also going to be for the what I call the wounded warriors who also feel uh, they have a lot of trauma and loss still remaining so that's to come but this one is uh, also just this Lyran energy is um, bringing back that feeling of connection, that feeling of beauty and of love that is never lost. And so that is the, the interpretation I'm going to give you for this. And I, again, I like you guys to just experience whatever it is you're going to experience from the activations, but, um, and won't really interpret it like on a very specific, uh, you know, way, but I love to just give the general sense when it's a specific activation so that you guys know um, what's coming through. And that's what's coming through for me is this uh, feeling of love, this feeling of um, connecting you guys back up so that you don't feel so displaced and lost and where's my home and uh, where's my people. Um, your people are here and now and your home is here and now even though, yes, we are from another time and from another place in many different multi-dimensional realities, um, we are also here and we have to start in this consciousness, in this uh, awareness, in this body, and bring our home and bring our feeling of home back home. <laughs> so that's the nature of uh, this connection. And just so you guys know, the Lyran energy comes very fluid, uh, it's very loving, it's very moving, um, and it is more specific, uh, specifically connected to the Lyran energy that is uh, the feline energy. So you'll, you'll be able to completely feel that energy and um, a lot of you that resonate with that, the lion people, the cat people, and that kind of thing will really, really enjoy this. And I know it just gives uh, me sort of this tingles down my, my back and I just, I love the feeling of them. And they connect very strongly in my uh, process that I do, uh, walk people through a, um, a light language chakra clearing in my session work, as well as in my light language foundations audio class. And that is actually um, the second chakra. So it's that second chakra of uh, int of intimacy, of uh, connection with creativity, of life, of life force. And so this may awaken some of those things for you guys when I connect it in through that uh, second chakra energy and some of your perhaps some projects that you have laying around that just can't get going or um, this, this energetics of expansion and reconnecting to home within yourself so that you can feel very guided and very comforted. So with that said, um, for those of you again who uh, are just, just now starting to experience light language, just listen with your heart, uh, not with your mind. Put your mind off to the side and it can pick up where it left off when we're done. But for now, we're just going to listen with the heart and we're gonna allow the energy to come through and let it be what it is. Just no judgment, um, just whatever it wants to create uh, around in your body and around in your energy field. And just know that you're safe and you're loved and there's always positive energies that come through. So, here we go. Clear nar, sur na kiri tiria, sur mare ki rumar nare, suturuku zameri ranara, zuriri zaraki tu varena saramar, sur roku reia, uranara sareki reia nari tiri. Suvaria rasara na ruku, wantara rear, zuruka rar, zuri arna rear, zuturi arana rearia, zuri arana rear, veri uruma kivrum, 
Zubrire ar nar, Zar ne kiri ar roku turra, Suri ar nare, Zur iki ar rna, Rumat ar iri ar rnati, Zudi iki ar rana, Zud, Roko rana, Rosto riki, Var nara, Zuturi iri nare, Zum preri ar rntave, Vuri ar rna, Dirian and a star eco root to Mara Randararia san Rubrinia tari Zodiri edo ruku Vanna zare Zodari arani duria nazaria Roma a kiri Shorusto ruku rana Zara rua rari tura Zabi irna teria rukuria naruma. Vesu rudier nir, zed iria nagar are. Vara zari, rekiria naru, ruturima zubiaran, viri reandara. Kenturia anza ruma, viri zuriar nare, guritiuma zubiarne. Var na zuduri area vuduru kura zubiri area na ru zuri area na wakaviria zurundure. So just breathe in this beautiful Laren loving energy. Bringing you back to a place of peace, of home within yourself, connecting you back, all the way back to peace and to love and serenity at a time when things were love and only that of love. Moving back into that time of peace and reconnection. And so I want you guys to just anchor that in right now, feeling safe, feeling comforted from wherever you are right now, whatever you're going through, whatever chaos or confusion or challenge in your life right now, just pull it back, pull it back into serenity, into peace, into a being a pillar on this earth and bringing that light here and bringing that light now at a time when this world needs it most. So I hope you guys enjoyed that energy connection. If you would like to work with me further in a session, I have uh, lots of different sessions on my website. You can check all of my session work out at lightstarcreations.com. And for those of you who want a dose of more light language and more uh, activation, I have a light language page on my website and that will give all the different activations that I provide via light language. And my light language found audio foundations class is a, 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 it's like a healing experience. And I really highly urge all of you guys who are interested in light language and want some activation and healing. Um, it is basically combining uh, all the information about light language with my light language chakra clearing that I walk you guys through and also a short version and a long version and it's highly powerful and I would love for you guys to check that out as well as um, my supernova package which also gives additional types of uh, energy activation from uh, my hand drawing of my light language codes that it's a signature energy signature light code just for you and also um, you get a couple of uh, light you get a custom uh, audio activation in there you'll get uh, some artwork and also in my magical dimensions oracle deck so lots of goodies in there plus all the different uh, starseed alignment sessions that i help you guys with in deciphering who you are uh, why you're here where your soul origins are from and then we go into what is your challenge in this life and kind of uh, move through some of that right now breakthrough sessions and so lots of great things happening in my sessions there. So go check that out. 
and as well as my artwork, which is all for sale as well. Um, you can check out my gallery page and that has all my artwork on there and you can, uh, and I have more coming as well. I took a little bit of a break from my starseed uh, type of um, art images that were coming forth in my next one, which I'm gonna leave as a surprise. I won't tell you what it is, but it's, it's veering a little bit, but you guys are really gonna enjoy it. And then um, I will continue back on my uh, starseed type of sessions, I mean my starseed type of uh, artwork that I will be creating for, uh, like I said, some of the Lyran and some Syrian and some other beings of light um, that you can go check out the ones I already have, which is from like Pleiadian, the Orions, the Andromedans, um, all different ones, beings there, I have about five or six that I've completed. So uh, again, if you have any questions, I would love to uh, help you with anything that you would like help with and assist with in your future journey of uh, spiritual awakening here. And, uh, or if you just wanna connect with me on my social media pages as well as uh, here on YouTube, um, love to connect with you. And I will talk to you guys really soon on the next activation. Meanwhile, take lots of good care of yourself and I'm sending lots of love from the fairies, the angelics, and the galactics. Lots of blessings. Bye now.